Continue to shoot your image for record. Okay, I think it's away. Okay. Hello, <laughs> I'm from Cat and Tangle, and I'm demonstrating today um, spinning some alpaca wool um, from some local alpaca in Twinstead. Um, what I have in front of me here is a comb that I've made myself, although you can buy them, but this does exactly the same job. I've got some raw alpaca here that has been picked from the um, the wool out into sort of more of a, a fluffy um, sort of material that you can use to comb. So I'll just take a handful of that, just apply it to the tines and then gently pull backwards towards me. And this is sort of shaking out any other vegetable massa or little bits and pieces, taking out all the, all the little sort of clumps from the locks like that and just combing it into some really lovely light material. So once you have that all combed and ready, I'll get my diz. This is actually a, um, an old knitting needle gauge which is very handy to use for what I'm about to do. I'll do a quick demonstration of how to comb the wool. I do have a drum carder and um, that's better to use for uh, sheep's wool because it, it has a little bit more sort of strength to the wool whereas alpaca is very fine and very fluffy. So you just thread the thread the alpaca wool through one of the holes and slowly start to pull the wool away from the tines towards you and you can see it's aligning all the fibres nicely it's all very nice and clean of little bits of vegetable matter and things, maybe little bits of food might have got in there, who knows. Um, normally I'd, I'd pull the, the full amount of the wool through into the roving which I've now produced. Okay, so I'll just move that to the side. Find my spinning wheel. This is an Ashford double treadle spinning wheel, which is one of the cheaper versions of the wheel you can get, but I got it because it's got the double treadle and it's, it's, it's upright, therefore it's compact and it can live quite happily in my lounge. Okay, so I'll just take some of the yarn I've already spun and to join it, I just start spinning. I've adjusted the, uh, the brake onto the bobbin here, so it's just pulling in just the right amount. You don't want too much, too much pull on the yarn because it will break because it's very, very delicate. And then just gently treadle your wheel. This is a double drive fan, which means you can have two settings. I've got it on the lower setting at the moment, which means the wheel is turning faster. So it's spinning the wool slightly faster because, as I say, this is a very fine yarn to spin, so you want it to have a little bit more twist in it than you would with a, uh, a sheep's wool. So you're gently drafting back towards yourself, just adjusting the, the pinch just to guide that wool in to try and make it as even as possible. My intention with this wool was to make it a, a, a double ply, but you can also have this as a single ply as well. And so that is how you spin the alpaca wool. And just to show you an example of what you can produce, if I'd left this single ply, it's very addictive. If I left this single ply, um, I could weave it on my head or loom that I've got at home and produce something that's like this shawl I've made here. So this is all single ply alpaca, exactly the same, from exactly the same animals I'm using here. This hasn't been washed yet, it's much easier to use the alpaca wool I find when it's straight from the animal and it's just been sort of combed and picked. So, so this, is, this is the single ply alpaca which I have woven in some hand spun and hand dyed merino as well. But it, alpaca is fantastic because it's very warm, it's quite strong once you've um, sort of set the twist in the yarn by, by washing it. Um, and woven it and then you wash it again and that felts the fibres together and it's got an absolutely beautiful drape as you can see um, that you just don't often get with a lot of sheep's wool maybe merino but, but nothing's quite as luxurious as alpaca I've found so that's just an example of what I do um, this is a drum carder which I would use to blend the merino fibres as I have done with this wool you can see here or you can pop it on the pot um, raw sheep's fleece that has been washed onto the tray which isn't here at the moment and then you, you feed feed the yarn into the drum carder and that will take the yarn take the wool up from the uh, 
the feeder roll here onto the larger roll and that will comb your fibres out and blend them together beautifully all ready to spin. So that's just a little bit of what I do. So thank you very much for watching and I'm here at Gosfield Shopping Village until the end of August. So I'll be demonstrating every weekend so do pop down and come, come find me. Thanks very much.